we present Goal, a deep learning model for generating whole body motions that walk and grasp 3D objects. Digital humans that move and interact realistically with 3D scenes are important for movies, games, AR, VR, and the metaverse. If their motion is not natural, avatars quickly fall into the uncanny valley. Most existing methods focus on bodies in isolation and ignore interaction with objects. Our goal is to generate novel motions of the full body such that it interacts with 3D objects realistically. Some existing methods go in this direction. However, they focus on the major limbs of the body, ignoring the hands and the head. Other methods focus on hands alone. Our method, named Goal, addresses this problem for the first time. Goal generates the whole body motion of an avatar, grasping an unknown object by jointly synthesizing the motion of the body, head, and hands, while taking into account the object shape and the ground plane. As input, Goal takes a previously unseen 3D object, its position, and distorting 3D body shape and pose. As output, it produces a sequence of whole body poses. For this, it uses two novel networks, GNET and MNET. First, GNET generates a goal whole body grasp with a realistic pose for the body, head, arm, and hands, such that the hand object contact is realistic. GNET is formulated as a conditional variational autoencoder to generate many different whole body grasps by sampling from its latent space. Then, MNET generates the motion between the starting pose and the generated goal pose. MNET is formulated as an autoregressive model so that future motion generation takes into account past motion. Goal's overall task is challenging and multifaceted. The avatar needs to walk toward the object with appropriate foot-ground contact, orient the head towards the object, reach out, and grasp it with a realistic hand pose and hand-object contact. Achieving this level of realism requires several technical novelties. Our first novelty is that our networks jointly infer both the parameters of the simple X-body model and interaction features, namely 3D body-to-object offsets and a head direction vector. We exploit these inferred interaction features to refine the inferred simple X parameters in a post-processing optimization process. In addition to simple X parameters, GNET predicts two interaction features, 3D hand-to-object offset vectors and a head direction vector. We refine our simple X predictions in an optimization step such that the features of the optimized pose more closely match the predicted interaction features. The results show an effective refinement after using the predicted interaction features as optimization constraints. After the optimization, the body posture is more natural, the head looks at the object, and the hand better contacts the object with fewer penetrations. In addition to simple X parameters, MNET predicts 3D body vertex offsets from the current to the next frame, as well as hand-to-object offsets. It is important that the final hand grasp gets as close as possible to the goal grasp. Therefore, when MNET's estimated hand is closer than 10 centimeters from the goal hand, we perform an optimization process that moves the hand toward the goal grasp. During this optimization, we linearly interpolate the hand vertices between the current frame and the goal frame. For the rest of the body, we keep MNET's predicted motions intact, as they matter less for contacting the object. Our second novelty is an interaction-aware attention representation for body-to-object distances that regulates the influence of all vertices on the network's reasoning when using them as network inputs. In technical terms, our attention scheme computes body-to-object distances on the fly and applies an exponential function to them to weight vertices that are closer to objects higher than the ones far away. This goes beyond the two main representations in the literature, distances and binary contact. For more details, please see our paper. We train Goal on the grab dataset and hold out motions for five objects. 
Then, we use the ground truth held out motions to compute goal's accuracy. We find that goal has foot sliding for only 13% of its generated motion frames, while the ground truth has sliding for 7% of the captured motion frames. We also evaluate goal with a perceptual study. We show participants the generated motions and goal grasps and ask them to rate their quality. For this, the raters take into account the quality of the grasping pose, foot ground contact, hand object grasp, and head direction. Answers are given on a scale from 1 to 5, where 1 means not realistic and 5 means very realistic. The ratings suggest that the generated motions from MNET are realistic. Moreover, our experiments show that GNET's optimization-based post-processing improves the initial grasp. Overall, our experiments demonstrate that GOAL generalizes well to unseen objects and generates realistic grasping motions. The objects used here are unseen during the training. Our models and codes are available for research purposes. For more results, please visit our project website.